So now that we've been introduced to Tumblr, let's play some Ouija! Somehow I can actually move during the cutscene, actually saves me a couple seconds. So, as you might have figured out, you're supposed to spell out Banjo-Kazooie uh, on that Ouija board. You cannot use the same letter twice. As you can see, there are plenty of uh, O's on this board. For example, this ghost, it, uh, it's going to hurt you whenever it touches you. I don't know if you, if you could potentially get off Tumblr and, um, and uh, kill it with a... With a gold feather, truth be told, I've never tried, but uh, a recorded run of this game isn't exactly the best time to experiment with that idea. Instead, I'm just going to uh, keep going normally. Here we got a Z. Just, uh, and by the way, those uh, Gruntilda squares, if you hit one, you lose some energy. So you want to be very, very careful not to touch them. Okay, uh, if you touch a wall, the ghost won't hit you, so... That's good, and here we go with 14 seconds left. The style of it was, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't make it, but um, I had a pretty good run, admittedly. Sometimes it goes a lot worse than that, and it goes to the limit. So here we go. Our first Jiggy in Mad Monster Mansion. So now we're done with this shed, so we can leave. Um, up next, I bet, I guess we could head over to the church area. We got a few notes, of course. Camera! <laughs> the camera didn't want me seeing those notes, but it's too late. No, on second thought, I'm gonna head into uh, the mansion cellar uh, right now, because the last time I played this game, uh, the game crashed once, and it was in that cellar. So, I'm, go I'm just not gonna take any chances and do it right now, uh, while I'm still early in this video and I don't have to read it too much if it crashes. Anyway, if you enter the appropriate code in Treasure Trove Cove, this barrel is going to be open and you can get another of the secret eggs. Golden feather in there, we got a Jinjo. Okay. Of course you're going to want to open all of uh, the barrels here. If you didn't enter the code, uh, the barrel is going to be closed. The barrel that uh, held... Uh, the egg, and, uh... Okay... Stop bugging me, little ghost! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna go for it! It's Golden Feather time! Huh, yeah, I, I- I know I have to be careful using those gold feathers, but I knew I had one right there in stock. Um, uh, gold feathers... You can actually sort of afford to use them liberally in this stage, because... Once, uh, once it's gonna be over, uh, we're gonna get a free uh, gold feather refill. So uh, don't worry too much. Uh, try not to run out, uh, but um, don't worry about uh, using them too much. Since, as I said, after this level, we're gonna we're gonna be getting a free refill anyway. And so no crashes. And by the way, the, those notes that were in the cellar. Uh, last time I played this game, I actually forgot about them. I had like four notes left and I couldn't find them and I, fi and I found out that I forgot to pick them up. So these things are uh, skeletal clones of um, the creatures that we encountered in uh, Clanker's Cavern. And uh, that pirate on that picture over there is actually in Banjo-Tooie. You meet him uh, in uh, Jolly's Bar in Jolly Rogers, uh, in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Anyway, it doesn't look like there was anything of note in that room beyond those eggs, so... I guess, I guess I can head back here if I realize I forgot something. So now we can head into the church area. There are a few things to do there. There are some pots, like this one, that you have to fart the eggs into, and flowers are gonna grow in that pot. Yeah, don't ask me either, I have no idea how putting an egg in a pot will make flowers grow. I can just hit... I honestly... Well, I, I wouldn't say I thought they said fuck you, but... That's really how... That's really what it sounds like. Listen to this. <sighs> Come on. Let's try this again. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's really what it sounds like. No kidding. Anyway, I'm going to try standing right next to it. Maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. Okay. 
That's a lot better. I think I, I think I figured out the, what to do exactly. Those things aren't exactly a threat, though there are much bigger ones in Gruntilda's lair once you've come into Mad Monster Mansion at least once. Momo token behind the gravestone. I think we've already collected 6 out of 15 in this world. We're doing well. Um, did I skip? Oh yeah, there we go. I was uh, looking for a pod that I might have skipped, but um, apparently it was this one, because... Once, uh, once you uh, grow flowers into all of the pots, that's what's. Um, where's the jiggy jingle? It didn't play the jiggy jingle. I glitched the game. Don't ask me why. I don't know how I did it, but um, oh well. Hopefully, I didn't break the game or anything like that. Let's smash this gate while I can. And uh, now I want to head up. Uh, on the roof because I know there are, uh, there are some things on the roof. I can just head up there. Not going so well. There, you can't. There, the, there is no ghetto jump in this game, so there there is no way to extend the height of your jump by standing next to a, a wall or anything of the sort. And uh, now I'll be honest. From this point on in this LP, well, this this isn't a blind LP, but. Uh, the levels start getting big enough that, uh, I don't really remember exactly what can be found where anymore. I know, uh, I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do, but, um, uh, otherwise I can't really place exactly what can be found where, so, um, I apologize if progress slows down and I'm, uh, and I end up uh, looking in places where there's absolutely nothing. I just want to be careful, make sure not to forget anything. Anyway, I guess up there we're gonna get a Jiggy, maybe? Alright, I figured as much. We already got, um, already got a Mumbo token, so, uh, it would only make sense to place a Jiggy there. So, now, I believe we are ready to enter the church. Now, the, the, the door to the church opens through that switch that, uh, you saw near the end of the last part, so I'm gonna head over there. And this is going to be another Mad Dash with a strict time limit, so it might take a few tries depending on, uh, how I perform. I might do it on the first... Sorry about that, on the first try. But uh, I also might fail. It, ha it uh, happens uh, quite a bit, actually. But um, now I have a pretty good idea of where to go to go as fast as possible. And oh yeah, this is easy. I'm gonna make it with room to spare. Now two seconds may not look like much, but trust me, uh, it, 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 I wasn't even close to missing. Now, is there anything in these corners? No, that's what I was talking about. I'm looking in places where there might not be anything. And, oh god, don't force me to use a gold feather. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna have to. I mean, I I'm trying to use them as little as possible, even though I know I'm gonna get a full refill once this level's done and over with, but... Still, I'm stingy, and, um, you can't, you can't, you can't, you just can't take the stinginess out of me. So, uh, on the, on these, uh, seats, there are some eggs and some notes, and uh, so I guess, oh god, oh god, ah. Well, at least, maybe, maybe I'm gonna manage to evade it. Though it might not have been such a good idea to actually get hit, maybe I should have taken the loss and accepted to lose a gold feather. Because as I said in the movie description to the last video, um, the, in this level, most enemies are undead, so you can only kill them with gold feathers, and uh, as a result, it's rather hard to obtain uh, energy the normal way by uh, defeating enemies, so you really, really want to stay as healthy as you can, because if you need to start using up gold feathers to recover your health, like this, uh, you might actually be in, uh, well, not some serious trouble, but you're gonna have a shortage of gold feathers uh, if you just abuse them willy-nilly. We got a beehive over there, I'm guessing we're gonna get something like that on the other side, yeah, there we go. 
Uh, those beehives, as you can see, they actually started having bees uh, surrounding them. That means that when you break the hive, the energy is going to be yours, but the bees are going to be able to hit you. So um, you really have to be very careful when uh, breaking those hives. And look at that! It's Master Hand before Master Hand was called Master Hand. No, seriously, this poor soul is called Mozart after Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, the famous composer. Now, what you're supposed to do, he's going to press a key, then you ground pound on the same key. You repeat, 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 and then you get a jiggy. As you can see, not difficult. Not difficult at all. He just plays so slowly. Mozart is probably rolling in his grave right about now. Okay, so uh, now uh, he's going to be going a little faster, but still not fast enough to actually uh, allow you to lose track of him or anything. Or it's this key. Um, I, while we're doing this, something that I want to bring up, I'm uh, looking at the possibility of uh, LP Banjo-Tooie, not necessarily after Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but at some point in the future. Uh, the problem with that right now is that I don't have very much experience with that game. To be honest, I played Banjo-Tooie for the first time last year, so um, if I want to LP this, I'm going to need uh, to have some more knowledge uh, of the game in order to have that LP not take 200 parts. And, oh my god! Okay, I was wondering, it was sort of taking forever here. Your music skills are mighty fine. Well, uh, I'm gonna take the compliment, but it's not like uh, what I did w uh, could actually be worthy of being called music or anything. I guess it still sounded more compelling than a Justin Bieber, Rebecca Black duet or, anything, or something like that. Got an extra life behind there, I'm not gonna pick it up. I don't need it just yet. I, I don't plan on dying just yet in this world. There are probably gonna be plenty of deaths in the next one, but we'll get to that when the time comes. So let's head over there, grab those other notes, and there's supposed to be a fly pad somewhere around here. Where is it? I thought it was at the top of the organ, but it was a jiggy that was there. Maybe on the platform? Oh, come on! Maybe on that platform over there? Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're talking. So what you want to do, you want to fly there and then head up into the rafters because there are some other things uh, to grab here. We're not done with the church quite yet. And oh, God, oh, God. Oh, wow! That is actually pretty cool! I killed it with a mid-air ground pound. Awesome! Now, so now I'm at full energy again. And uh, over there. Oh, we got the witch switch here. And this is going to make a jiggy appear. Right there! Remember that room? It's the room near the room with the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak. And uh, remember that mad dash for a uh, flight pad that uh, disappeared after 12 seconds? Well, given the position of that jiggy, I'm going to have to do it again. Fun, huh? Uh, but, um, once again, we'll worry about that when the time comes. We got an extra honeycomb piece right there, if I can just, uh, avoid killing the skeleton, just, uh, knocking it out for a while would be, would be nice. There's another gold feather over there, I'm just gonna pick it up to, uh, compensate for the gold feathers that, um, that, uh, I used earlier on. Now, uh, there's one more thing I want to check before heading out of the church, and it's remember the platform the flight pad was located on? There's another similar platform on the other side of the church, you can see it right now, and I just want to see if there's anything of note here, whether it's a mumbo token or anything, because this is probably going to be the first world where uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still be missing uh, some things. Uh, when I'm actually done with everything in the world, so... I I'm a bit surprised it didn't happen sooner, but... Oh! Come on, I was trying to avoid that. So let's try getting the up there one more time, hopefully... Uh, seeing what's on that platform before time runs out. Okay. 
Just leave me alone, and it's only a flame. No mumbo token or anything of the sorts. So see you next time for more Mad Monster Mansion!